guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we will be doing another unboxing of the Witch's Moon monthly subscription box. For those of you guys who do not know, the Witch's Moon box is a witchcraft oriented box that I've been getting for years now. It retails for I believe $55, that includes shipping and handling. Um, and it comes with a bunch of goodies including spells, salts, um, oils, usually like some kind of activity and then all this info on how to hone your craft around that activity. Um, and I just love it. I've been using um, witchcraft and wicca as a method of self-care for years now and therefore this is one of my favorite and most beloved boxes. So let's open her up and see what we have for this month. So first up we get our little individual oracle card. Every single box comes with an oracle card that is unique to the individual. This one has a cute little fairy on it and says turn the wheel. We fairies turn the wheel of the seasons. See the scarlet leaves, the promise of spring, the deep stillness of winter's dark, the high bloom of summer. These times have much to teach you. Oh, very nice. All right. Let's open up our little pamphlet to reveal this month's theme. Um, September is here, so I'm hoping that we get a lot of like fall and mob on vibes with this. So let's see. So we have the Spirit of Flora, the Hedgewitch Collection. So it says, there are many times along our path that we find ourselves disconnected and distant from inspiration, creativity, or passion. These blockages are largely attributed to heavy energy that has invaded our space and captured our essence. Through our practice of working with natural elements and calling upon our guides, we release these negative energies and begin to rekindle the inspiring fire that is held within. As we reach towards the welcoming of the autumnal equinox, we begin to reap the bounties of our efforts from the past several months to start to incorporate our connection with the natural elements to bring healing, regeneration, and wholeness. In this one-of-a-kind collection, we showcase the handmade tools that aid in this very practice. And then we get this like apple sigil. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very autumnal looking. And then we get two Book of Shadows artwork prints. So let's see, we have Dermid, I think it says. I'm not sure. Airmed, Airmed which is the Celtic goddess of nature. And then we have magical herbal reference. And so this is to promote healing and recovery and then to maintain well-being. I believe this is from the Scott Cunningham herbal book, which we do have. Okay, so then next up we get a little sage bundle. Oh, this one's really good. And it has a little note with it that says, patchouli mountain sage stick. So I wonder if this wasn't added into the pamphlet because it's just got all this info on it. it. Says this wonderfully aromatic patchouli mountain sage stick is included within this collection to bring the energies of focus into action while clearing away feelings of anxiety, fear, and ill intent. As you allow the smoke from this bundle to waft through your sacred space, visualize the energies around you clearing and pulsing with new vibrations filled with fresh thoughts and emotions. Oh, we get a tea. So uh, we get Looks like it says an Bapagon Citra Citratus, which is a ritual tea. Oh, we get a mist. I love when we get mists. So we get a nice little aura mist that says Gaia. Oh my God. It smells incredible. I'm not sure what that scent is. It's really familiar. It reminds me of being at like the beach, but I don't think it's a beachy smell. I think it's just the smell that I've smelled at the beach before if that makes sense, like in like the hotel rooms and stuff. Okay, then we get Mystic Myrrh Ritual Incense, which does smell like myrrh. We get our Spell Candle of the Month, which is this beautiful yellow gold beeswax candle. It smells pretty heavily of beeswax and honey. Okay, and then we have this black satiny box. I don't know what this is, but it looks, it's got like a little devilly leaf tail, and then this is dull, but it definitely could be sharp. It looks kind of like an ax. I have no idea what this is. Um, and then it's got this really pretty like um, engraving of vines on it. I have no idea what that is. We'll find out in a second, I suppose. And then we get this package here which also has a sigil on it. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So first up we get what looks like a clear quartz. 
I haven't gotten a stone in a while. And then we get all of our herbs. Okay, so they've changed this up. We get the little muslin bag. Um, we get elf leaf, which is a mixture of lavender and something it looks like. We get rose petals and we get um, chamomile. Oh, these are like three of my favorite herbs. These are all like very, very calming herbs. So that's awesome. Stoked on that. Like they're now putting them in little packages. But let's go through and see what all of this is about. Okay. So we get the Witch's Moon Exclusive Handmade Herb Mezzaluna, which is an herb rocker, um, which means half moon in Italian. And it is considered a knife most commonly found with a curved blade to be rocked back and forth on a cutting board to cut herbs. Um, it is an integral part of the witch's cabinet and can often become a daily tool for ritual work and preparation. That's awesome. I've never heard of that before, but I love that. Um, I guess it makes sense. I'm not really an herbal practitioner, so that's not gonna be something I use too frequently, but it is beautiful. We then get the Magical Herb Reference um, for Healing Book of Shadows artwork. We get the Great Harvest Ritual Bath Kit. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, um, so they are to accompany you on a bath. So I guess we didn't get any salt this month. So we have the lavender, the Elf Leaf, which is lavender and spike lavender. I'm not quite sure what the difference between the two are. We get the rose petals and the chamomile. And then we get the tumbled thermogenic crackle quartz. So not a clear quartz, but it is a variation of a clear quartz. It is created by undergoing a treatment of intense heat, enhancing the energy supply stored inside and creating a fractured design within its structure. And then we get the muslin bag for the ritual bath tea that you can create. Uh, we get the Gaia Ritual Aura Spray, and the scents that we smelled in that were um, green tea, cedarwood, jasmine, and a mixture of their Lush of Autumn Magical Oil. All right, that smelled amazing. We get the Blessings of Mabon Spell Candle, which was anointed with cinnamon, ginger, and anise. We get the Great Transition Sigil Artwork. We get the... Um, Oh, they're tea bags. So this is a tea bag, I think. I'm not sure. So it says, um, the Cypabagon Citratus Ritual Herbal Tea Bags. Um, it's, that is the fancy name for lemongrass. <laughs> I'm very excited if these are in tea bags now. That makes this so much easier. Um, and then we get the Mystic Myrrh Ritual Incense, the Aramid Book of Shadows reference art for the personalized oracle reading, and then the parchment paper, and then obviously the extra sage bundle that was not written on this. Very interesting. Um, so yeah, this is one of those um, boxes that I don't know how much out of it I will use because again, I'm not really a big herbal practitioner. I do love the scent of this. I will definitely be using the smudge stick. Um, and these are actually three herbs that I adore. This will be really fun to put in some baths, I think. Um, I love a lot of their salts that they have, which already have like petals and stuff in them, so this will be kind of fun to create my own. I've never done that before, and I do have some just generic bath salts. So that should be super fun, have some fun spells with that. Um, and I guess I will have to learn how to use this kind of rocking um, knife. It is beautiful, but again, I'm not a huge herbal practitioner. Again, I do love this. I feel like if you were an herbal practitioner, this would be something super beneficial and useful to you. But again, I am not that type of witch. Um, so for me, it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But uh, overall, solid box. Uh, again, the presentation is always stunning. I have a lot of these like little satin um, storage boxes for a lot of the tools they've sent. They are very sturdy and very, very useful. So love that. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And I will catch you all in the next one.